Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much and welcome to the show. This is the Obama Show. My guest tonight is a young and brilliant student. I even can't still believe that he's on the show today. As you know, talent that's a no edge has nothing to do with the subject we do at university. Talent is just talent. And today, I'm so honored to have on the show a talented and brilliant young student, Mr. Bamba Fall on the stage. Bamba, please. Thank you and welcome. Thank you for being on the show. It's my honor. I still can't believe you are on the show because having a star on the show, yeah, you are a star, I am not. Before we start the show, let's begin with the biography. Maja Unyao for the biography. Hatim Fal, known as Bamba, was born in Yambal in the suburb of Dakar. He is supervising the English club of Mama Marim Job Middle School, where he helps young brothers and sisters improve their English. In 2014, he participated in an English competition called Recap, where he was awarded Best Speaker. Bamba has also won the prize of the best debater in a competition called Kaidebat, which means let's debate in English. His passion for writing allowed him to win the first prize in the Senegalese League of Slam in 2018. Besides his crazy talent, Bamba is a brilliant student at Shahanta Job University and a businessman. Thank you very much, brother. Um, as I said earlier, you are a brilliant student. Mashallah. Uh, when, I, when I said to people that you would be on the show, many people, the first question they asked me was, how do you know Bamba? Because you are a star. Thank you for accepting our invitation. And you are known on social media, um, publishing, you know, slums and doing great work with the slums. And uh, as yeah, obviously you are a great writer. How did you get this talent? I mean, how did it start to you? Um, let me greet you first and thank you for the invitation. Um, Bamba is the light lightning daily our way. Bamba is the hero who from zero worked to build the Muridism. Bamba is a master, a teacher, and a doctor. Bamba knows the way. Sheikhul Khadim goes the way. Sherin Tuba shows the way. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. And he still hasn't answered my question. <laughs> Where um, did you get this crazy talent? Um, I don't think it is a talent, and I don't consider myself as a star. You, but are my you may star. say whatever you want, I won't beat you until we, we hear. No right? And I'm really glad to, to join you and to join the show too. Um, I don't get a talent, then I don't know where the talent comes from. And, you know, when people told me, asked me the question, who is this guy? For those who don't know you, like uh, those people like me who, never, who are never on, 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 on social media. What I told them is that you are the best slam maker in Senegal because you were awarded the best slam maker. How did you leave that experience? I mean, how did you go through that experience as a nominated as the best slab maker in Senegal? Um, first, when it comes to introduce myself, I used to tell to guys that I am nobody and nobody is me. And to say the truth, I don't get nothing special. People may find it me, but everybody gets the right to, to say, wow, I love this guy or this guy is this or that. It doesn't matter anymore. But it was a great experience where I have learned a lot concerning this uh, people call slam or the other spirit. I don't know. They, mm. give, they give me a definition of my own person. Since I am uh, living in a uh, democratic country, I just say, yes, everybody may call me as they want. Some people call me a slammer. Others, they think, yes, I'm doing poetry. I don't know exactly how to define myself. But this is to say that I have learned a lot in that competition because I have found there are some people who, are doing, who have done many years in, uh, in this world. And I was just like a newborn baby who don't know nothing about uh, what to do. But uh, it was a great experience. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, and, and you are a pure product of English club. Yes, like me, but I don't have the talent you have, unfortunately. Uh, what is the place of English club in your current life? I mean, the profile you have right now, what is the place of English club in, in there? Um, English club is so selfish. 
in me. English club did not just like let the others to occupy some places in, in me. Mm. English club did take all I got. Then they they selfish. All right. What you mean is, yeah, you, there is no place for English club in your life, but your life is just about English club. Yes. Since I have started learning English, I we have created our own English club. Mm -hmm. At that very time, our English teacher used to tell us, Mr. Sise, um, speak your English. Speak your English. Speak your English. What, what do you mean by speak your English? Uh, just don't try to be somebody else. All right. English is not our mother tongue. And we cannot speak English as the American they do. We have to speak our own English by the way we feel it. Mm -hmm. That is why she, uh, he rarely comes in the, in the English club. Mm -hmm. He let us lead the English club. Why do we know that? We don't get the level in English. But what we used to do, I myself was considered as the supervisor of the English club. While I, did not, uh, I was not able to say a weak word in English, then I was obliged once over at home to learn some vocabularies, and then when I come in the English club, I teach it to my young brothers. Okay. Okay. Yes, I was learning English by teaching English, while I don't know nothing in English. All right, very good, that's wonderful. And uh, um, right, right now in Senegal, people, they go over, you know, the four language skills in English club. They say, well, English is club is not just shaping people to the four language skills, like listening and writing, speaking and reading. But today we are talking about leadership training in English club. Did you live that experience? Like, do you think English club shaped you to be a leader today? Yes, it is. It is right. All right. Um, we all know that a leader can be defined as somebody who knows the way, who shows the way, and who goes the way. Right. Um, English club, they, they, they only they, not only they teach you English, but they, 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 they put you in the very in that very person. Mm. I mean, that very leader. Mm -hmm. You are what uh, I told you a while back. I was in the English club. I did not know nothing in English. Mm -hmm. I was obliged to think in English or to think in Wolof and then to translate it to my young brothers. Yeah, like we, my yeah, what's yeah, what's we are doing, there. There is no teacher. There is no parents. Mm -hmm. We are obliged to lead guys. Okay, okay. Then the, you are practicing uh, how to be a leader. There, there are some behaviors I got before. Mm -hmm. uh, when, I start, when I started noticing that um, students, they was, they were, not only I was teaching them words, words in English, um, I'm sorry, not only I was teaching them some words in English, but they was just like uh, copying my, my behavior or mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. When I put a, 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 a clothes, uh, when the, the next Friday, they put the same clothes. You're a kind of source of inspiration for yeah, those students. Yeah, and when they go out, people tell them, are you the brother of Bamba? They say, no, he's not my brother. But they see uh, myself in them. And I say to myself, wow, I have to, be, I have to grow up now. Wow. Yes, I don't have now to be, to be a young myself as young people they do. Mm -hmm. I have to grow up because they are seeing, they are seeing something else okay. in, in I. And, and how, do you, how do you live your... Well, as you say, you think it's not a talent, but I'm going to call it a talent because I don't know what it is. How do you live with that? Like, every day you wake up, you walk on the street, and people say, Bamba, Bamba, could you tell something for me? Could you do a salam for me? How do you live that experience? Does it happen to you to just go around some place and people call you, people you don't know, and tell, man, I listen to you, I follow you, and just like they inspire, they're inspired, and they ask you a lot about, a lot of questions about your life. Does it happen to you? Yes. It, I can't spend now a day long without hearing a message like that. And it is really a pleasure because I know that I myself, I know myself, and I know that there is nothing special in I, but they, don't, they can't believe in such, in such a thing. I, I can't believe it. I'm so sorry. Yeah, because you're crazy, I man. I can't believe it either. <laughs> <laughs> but, but let me say that it is a pleasure to hear them saying, saying that to me because we all are were created by, by, by God and we don't know nothing, we don't get nothing special, but if ever we see somebody who sees something special on us, we should thank God and then thank that very person. Wonderful, wonderful. This is just, this is, this is just crazy. As I said, talent doesn't just know subject. No matter the subject you do at university or the subject you do at school, sub talent is just talent. And this guy is just talented and unfortunately, he doesn't know he's talented. But I, and you guys watching, you do know about it. And you will know about, more about his talent later on our show today. So, um, before we, we end the first session of the, of the show, uh, do you like just write in English, your slums, or just in Wolof, or do you have a particular language you write, you, you walk in? No, I don't have a particular language. I just, I write sometimes in English, in French, in Wolof, 
Yes, and if you don't pay attention, one day I'll write in Polar, and I, while I don't know even how to... <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, I just write, yes. Do you, do you speak Polar? Um, a little bit, but some of my friends who are Polar, when they, when they hear me speaking Polar, they used to laugh, but I don't care. Okay. Yes, I speak. And what, are, what, what you know, are your main focus when you are writing? Is it just about uh, religious writing, or you know, it's just about leadership? What exactly is, are your main focus when you are writing? We can say it's about leadership, leadership. and it's about how to inspire the person reading, who's, who's reading me, how to change his life by a single word. By a single word. Thank you very much. So we'll be right back after. All right, so Mariama, so as you've been the guest of the Obama show today, so and you are on the verge of going back home, going back to Dakar, so can you tell us what are your impressions about the, the show? Um, thank you, Pap Ghana, for this question. Of course, I like this, the, the show. I love the great work you're doing. I like the innovation you have brought into this teaching activity, and um, I can but commend um, the work you're doing and also encourage you. <laughs> so, right. um, thank you, Mariama. So now the other question that I want to put to you is, um, I, I, as a brave lady, so you are a teacher, at the same time and doing you know um, community stuff so now what can you tell to women who are just you know teaching but they not but they're not active they're just passive so what can you tell them um, to my fellow women I know you, you know we should be the one I mean starting more things in the school because we know that women are given they have the gift of being more, of, of having Im more impact on the kids, and I think that we should not just limit to teaching and going back home. We should um, try our best to have the best impact possible of the kids um, on the kids. I mean, who come across our way in this teaching practice. Yeah. Sure. So now, um, the last but not the least question: um, What do you think about the Obama? I mean, the name of the Obama show. Because most people are telling us, why Obama? So now, what do you think about that? Do you suggest that we should change the name or not? Well, I know for a name, for a show, something is important, that is to have a name that catches attention. And I know the Obama, uh, when you hear about the Obama show, you want to go and dig more <laughs> what it is about. I just like an, the name. And as, 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 um, as far as it matches the content, the content of the of the of the show, I think that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you. So, can you give your final word, or I mean, the last word? Um, thank you, thank you, and thank you again, Pap Ghana, and again, courage for the tremendously important work you're doing. So, thank you so much, Miss Madam. So, we have to let you go because you're going to Dakar and we're in chess. So, thank you so much. All right. So, thank you. That was the uh, Miss Mariama as the guest of the Obama show. So, thank you, and see you next time. Thank you very much, Brother Pap Ganujou. Um, back to the show. For people who think that he is doing English at university, you are deceiving yourself. This guy is not doing English at university. No matter how good his English is, he is not doing English at university. He is doing mathematics. Where, where, and how did you learn such a good English? In the English clubs, in the English just in the English clubs, mm -hmm. it, it makes me think about um, when I was doing my BFM, we was doing our, our verbal exam. Mm -hmm. I introduced myself and then I talked a little bit. I am talkative, I am chatterbox, I know that. Mm -hmm. But the English teacher told me, uh, do you get a habit to go on holiday in US or Gambia, <laughs> stuff like that. Right. I told him no. And I availed myself on the opportunity to tell him how much our English club is important because it is thanks to our English clubs Thanks to some of our teachers like Master, Mr. Sedi, like, yeah, yeah Mr. Right. Ghana, Mr. Sisi, stuff like that. They inspire us a lot. Right. And this is not dangerous. We should speak English while being a scientist. At any time, people, they ask me such a question. But I tell, it, but I tell them that um, if you think about those, who, those scientists who uh, today are the ideas of people who want to be scientific, mm -hmm. they, scientists, they have been... They speak English, they speak French, stuff like that. You can't think uh, in science and then to deliver it in science. 
you have to, to use a language. You have to communicate your science. And then to communicate your science, you need the language. If you can't say what you think, how can we think about what you think? It's impossible. I don't even know how to say. I, I don't even understand what he says. How do you think about what you think? It's just something that your talent just can do. Anyway, well, um, well <laughs> that's it. And I'm sorry, I did not tell you thank you at the beginning. For what? For being generous with your time. Because you, I know you are a very busy man. I know. So I'm sorry I didn't say thank you for your time. You are so generous with your time. You leave Dakar to come here. I know you have so many things to do. And this is going to be the next question. How do you compartmentalize and handle different activities you do? Understanding that you have to go to university, you have so many homeworks to do, you got to write English club activities and your business. How do you compartmentalize and organize all those stuff? Okay. Um, let me tell you first that it is not a punishment. Don't, don't be sorry, right? Be glad because I, I like that. If I wake up all day long without being busy, I feel, I feel sick. Mm -hmm. Because for me, people, they should, they should, they should act. They, they should work. It's what defines life. Right. For, for, for me, right. I, am a, I am an entrepreneur. Okay. I am working on clothes like this one I, I put. Uh, I go to Second Job University. This is just another talent I didn't know. Okay. okay. And uh, okay. some people, they used to call me. But, but for me, the slum is just like a hobby. Okay. Yes, it is when I am free that I do it. But I get my work, I get my studies. And for me, it's because I am a student that I should work. Because uh, you, you can't, you can't, uh, you're not a student until you learn to use your knowledge uh, in, in order to, to, to do something, something like being an entrepreneur. All right, you all see, right, right. what you learn at school should be used in your lifetime in order to become somebody. All right, all right. And, and, well, still I can call it talent, no matter what you call it. It's again talent, 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 talent. You got talent. And you are known on social media and you were awarded last, last year um, Best Salam Maker in Senegal. Is it the end or do you have future projects? What is your long-term project as far as, well, first of all, this talent is concerned. Do you want it to be professional or just to, all the time publishing on, on, on social media and don't get any profit from it? Um. I am, I am ambitious enough mm -hmm. to, to, to reduce my life into somebody who just makes slam, right? I don't understand. I, I like to... <laughs> that's a talent. You, yeah, that's I like it. to be you. I like to be the others. I like to be everything. Because when I was a child, people asked me to know, what do you want to be after your studies? Mm -hmm. I used to tell them that I would like to have 12 jobs. I would like 12, to do he says. everything. Because I, I had... He says. Of, of, the, of the jobs I like to, to do once I, I grow up, because I am ambitious enough. Uh, I would like to be somebody who, whenever you look at him, he inspires you. You inspire me. Yes. I tell you, you inspire and, uh, me. And some people now, they are inspired by work, others are inspired by your talks, others are inspired by your acts, then I am obliged to do everything to inspire everybody. So you have to work, to talk? To, 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 and inspire all those tools. I, am, I have I to work. Hit. I got talent too. This. <laughs> That's my hidden talent. That's Summit my hidden up. talent. I have to work, to talk, and to go to the top. To write? To write, to joke. Wow. I am doing a slam, right? <laughs> this is just that. This is just that. Yeah. All right. And, and, and you said, um, well, I did not know that you were making clothes. It's like, um, this is another talent that I didn't know. What is, you know, between your studies, the slum, the entrepreneurship, the, 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 I know. There are things you don't say here, but anyway. Which one do you, uh, do you take as priority? Which one is your top priority? Um, you know, we all are selfish. When it comes to, to say what is our priority, the majority, they say, is my study. Because I would say that. Mm -hmm. 
Let me say that because it's what you're expecting from me but to say. But that's not what I expect. <laughs> Truly. Generally, what do you think should be your priority today? They, they should, uh, what should be my priority? I think that should be my person. Your person. And my person is defined by my feelings. Your feelings. If I pass my lifetime doing something I don't mm -hmm. for me, I don't exist. All right. I get the point. You see, I, get uh, I don't know now what I feel like doing. I love my studies. Mm -hmm. I am studying. Mm -hmm. But if ever I wake up uh, one day and then I, feel that I no longer feel like going at, uh, at school, mm -hmm. what I would like to do is this or that. Mm -hmm. I am going because it makes me feel like a person who exists. Wow. And is unfortunately, the reason why today the educational system is in the way it is, mm -hmm. is because we are forcing students to go to school. Many of them, they are, you, you want to be a football player, mm -hmm. what, what are you doing at Second Job University? Well, if my brother hears this, he'll just say, well, I will not keep studying because he, he has a problem with the school and he likes football so much. You, you, should, you should, should give them uh, so much courage enough to, to go to learn football, mm -hmm. to succeed in that because mm -hmm. God did say that on earth and each one of us gets his uh, talent. You're not a person until... Mm -hmm. You use that talent mm -hmm. to, 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 to shine. All right, all right. Thank you so much. That's our brother, Bamba Fowl. And his final part will be just different, as you know, as anytime we have talented or over-talented guests on stage, we don't ask him just to message a message to the world, but something that he has to do for our viewers, right? ABT did it, and you are going to do it. Your talent is known throughout Senegal. Yeah, people, they think I'm a VIP because I know you, and it is confirmed now because I sit by your side. Of course, I have your telephone number. What can you perform today for our, for our viewers to enjoy your voice, your talent, your idea? Okay. Before Once the upon a time, one voice should represent the billions of voices. Now, because the voices were not able enough to talk, but because those voices and the voice representing them were the same and talked for the same cause. Today, that voice should raise up and have a talk, even though every talk that has been talked can be retalked if the talker and the talkie believe that was a good talk. Thank you. That's just a good talk. That's just a good talk. <laughs> Thank you very much, brother. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for your talent. Thank you for your humility. Thank you for all. But we are going to reach the final part of the show. And I'm sure people will ask you to come back. Myself, I will ask you to come back on the show. If you have time, of course. The final part of the, of the show. The final part of the show. As we're living in a world where people have worries, people have problems, people are always worried about something. And with your talent, you can really change the lives. Today, what message would you send to the, our viewers to inspire people today? Because you inspire a lot. I am being inspired right now. Our viewers are inspired. What message would you say to end the show today? Just inspire the world. Okay. Um, but first, they should know that I am not trying to inspire them. At the time, I talk. But I know they will be inspired, unfortunately. Um, so for me, the word is good. People, they are working, others are studying, everything seems good. Poor are poor, rich, rich, uh, the rich man are, are rich. And it's, it's, the, it's the word, it's how the word is. But for me, unfortunately, also the word is sick. And the sickness of the word is, the word is suffering from respect. For me, everything can be good, everything can be a problem. But if respect is missing, everything is missing. Because respect is a lesson that everyone should learn. And it should not be given, uh, it should be given to an expecting one. And everybody is expecting for respect. When I say now respect, it means everything. People, they don't respect people while, you, uh, while buying something, selling something to another one. You, you play with his mind. When you take a car up it, they play with your mind. While walking on the street, you just like get a field, instead of putting it in your, in your pocket, you think 
you, you, you are clean, clean enough to put it in your pocket, right? Uh, you don't respect yourself. We don't respect ourselves and we don't respect people following us. We don't respect people with whom we live. So how can the humanity live? Today, what, is, what people are living in Mali, if they, respect, if they respected people enough, would they kill another one? We don't respect human beings. We don't know the, the values and the dignity that is inside of the human beings. So we, will, we won't change the word. The word may be marvelous. The word may be rich. But we won't change the word until we put respect in. I have... I have nothing to add. Thank you very much, my brother, for coming. That was your show, the Obama show with the CDC. And as a guest, we had our brother, Bambafal, from Dakar. Thank you for being here. Next time, best time.